Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Welcome back, folks, to About the House. This is your audio university on everything you could possibly ever want to know about your home. And what makes this so, so awesome is it is on podcast, it is on YouTube, it's all your different rumble stations out there. So you can listen to it over and over and over again. Actually, there is so much information on each and every show. We just jam pack as much as possible into it. So as that you can just, you just have to go back and listen to it over and over and over again. And this way, you'll know probably more than a lot of the contractors out there. And that's what, when we really do enjoy sharing this with you folks. Hey, my name's Troy Galloway. I'm the host of this show. I own Galloway Building Services. Just like this show, we are a one-of-a-kind inspection company. Yes, we do building inspections for commercial and residential, but we also do commercial building inspections. We also do construction inspections. Say you got a problem on a job and you want to make sure it's being done right. Right, give us a call. Or if you're a contractor and you have a customer that's saying the job's not done right, you know how it is. So you always got a neighbor out there that knows everything except for what he's talking about. And they say, oh, that's not done right. I wouldn't have done that. I Googled it. Well, you give us a call. We come out there. And because we don't do the work, you know that we're not out there trying to steal your job. So Give us a call if you're a contractor or if you're a consumer. We also do, if you get hurt out there, give it, you know, and, and because of somebody's negligence, people give us a call all the time. We do construction inspections for hazards or people getting hurt. So we got, we are absolutely a one of a kind company. We do work all over the United States and this show does go all over. And I say that because. At the very end of this show, I want you guys to listen. I want all you folks to listen out there at the, all the way to the end. Because at the very end, my guest, which I'm going to introduce in just a minute. I'm just really excited about our guest here today. But my our guest and myself are going to offer you something that's going to put, you're going to be excited about. So give us a call, Galloway Building Services. Our office number is 636-394-3112. And... Now, don't tell nobody about this, but this is my cell phone number. You can reach me directly, but don't pass it around. 314-520-6655. And now, let's get on with the show here. We actually got, we've never had uh, uh, this type of a company on here before. It's very exciting, and it's absolutely something everybody needs. And I have the owner of Baron Mirror, a glass and door, Tom Baron. Tom, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And jump right in here and tell us a little bit about your company and how you got started and, and why you even do it. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. And uh, again, I'm Tom Baron. And uh, boy, started uh, Baron Mirror, glass and door back in 76. So uh, quite a while ago. And uh, uh really had no intentions of being in my own business, but my previous boss wasn't uh, uh, the the nicest guy to work for. So I sort of ended up going out on my own. My only background was uh, I had some interior design classes and layout and stuff like that. So the uh, college that I did go to, I basically just took all those courses. And uh, that was the only thing I was any good at. And uh, when I got started in the uh, uh, business, mirrored walls were the rage. Oh, Every, yeah, everybody it was, it? wanted a mirrored wall. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, and that's what... I was able to do, I, I, I was able to walk into their home and say that, you know, okay, you want this wall done, but this is the wall to do, you know, that kind of stuff. Because uh, 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 mirrors have, you know, two different functions, you know, they can look real pretty beveling and all this crazy stuff, but it also can double the room size. And uh, so you can use it very effectively. And the you know, the best layout is a combination of both. Okay. You, you want a statement, you want something that looks beautiful, but you also want it to work 
and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So, but that's that's how I got started. Well, Tom and I are both the same age, basically same age. Yeah. We was lying to each other earlier, twenty nine yeah. and a whole bunch of days. <laughs> but uh, I started also in nineteen seventy six. Yeah. So yeah, and mirrors, walls was popular. Mirror ceilings. Oh, I, uh, I did several of those. Several uh, of those. Yeah. 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 Did you get my uh, age? You don't need no mirror yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the uh, the. What really kicked me off is I, is I really did a lot of work for the interior designers because I could, uh, the previous company I worked for, they wanted to do the, the basics, you know, the plain Jane stuff. And uh, I had uh, interior designers that they wanted to build mirrored furniture. They wanted to um, basically an upside down box with a pedestal in the middle and then you put lights underneath there wow. so you got a the mirror image and then you got lights coming out from wow. under it that kind of stuff back in 76 was awesome yeah and uh, uh so uh that kind of stuff and the interior designers i uh, i didn't say no i just told them that well glass doesn't work that way so you can do it this way mm -hmm. you know and uh, uh because we were able to work together uh, uh we got a good relationship going and uh and quite honestly i do more builders now than i do interior designers work but uh you know that's just the uh the evolution i guess of uh of how business goes because uh shower doors have really taken over lately and uh, the um three-eighths thick heavy frameless glass shower doors uh they're they're unbelievable. There, uh, there's so many ver varieties of of what you can do and and how to do it, and uh, um, it, it just looks really nice. So uh, that has really become come big. Well, and now you guys work for builders, but you also work for uh, just regular people off the street, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We we had the largest showroom in St. Louis. I mean, we. Uh, our sh our showroom is unique too, and it's because um, we don't have a whole lot of. Uh, and I learned this through trial and error. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you, uh, every time you put together some fr some beautiful frame mirrors and put them up there, somebody wants, oh, I'd like that, but it, if, if it was just a different color, or if it was just two inches taller, you know, that kind of stuff. You 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 never have the exact right mirror necessarily for people uh unless they're just like okay i can live with this i can live with that but uh my showroom is put together so that people can come in and they can see all the different colors of mirrors that you can do because we we can paint glass and use those as accents uh antique mirror is just really big uh well can you help me out here antique mirror i'm not for, I'm, I'm not for sure what i'm talk what i'm thinking of what is it okay. explain antique mirror antique mirror back in the day it's you know it's got maybe some clouds going through it uh, and it used to have some gold veining and stuff mm -hmm. i don't know how popular that is right now but uh there's probably 50 different antiques out there and it's just making a regular mirror look old you know look dated and uh, um and that looking dated now is become uh you know the so you and this i are is cool I want. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, we get to look in the mirror and then get that reflection. Yeah. Uh, so, but no, uh, antique mirrors are, uh, they're hot, you know, and uh, a lot of things with mirrors are uh, uh, going crazy. The, the backlit mirrors, uh, when you walk into a bathroom, a vanity mirror, you flip on the lights and the sandblasted trim around the mirror illuminates and uh, you'll see that in a lot of uh, commercial aspects now but uh, uh, I'm not set up to you know knock out a hundred of them or whatever there are companies out there that do and uh, so if I have a project that that requires something like that I'm probably buying them more than making them but I am set up to do something that's they'll they're gonna work with stock sizes and all of a sudden, you need something that's taller than wide, or or uh, a, a certain image to fit a certain uh, certain size to fit a certain space. Uh, I can make that, and uh, uh, and you can't that you can't find on the internet. So um, that that part of it 
was a lot of fun. Lot I of fun. bet. Now, I mean, in mirrors, you were talking about mirrors. Oh, I got an antique dresser several years. And actually, I've been in the family for over 150 years. Mm-hmm. Original mirror. And my grandfather said, and it's got that antique, it's, it is the antique glass mm-hmm. with the silver behind it. Mm-hmm. Do they even use silver anymore for? Uh... Yeah, yes, they do. And uh, there used to be a company in St. Louis that re-silvered. And uh, I know that some of your antique uh, professionals or whatever will look for that uh, that type of glass. But you almost have to strip off all of the glass, uh, all the silvering on the back, and then re-silver it in order to uh, get something that's usable. Uh, and uh, I don't know of a company. I'm sure there are companies out there, but not in St. Louis anymore. Yeah. So I don't know uh, of any myself, and yeah. I kind of, because of my this is like over 150 so yeah. years, so it's got a little nicks. But my grandfather said, uh, of course, he's gone now, but he said that mirror is worth more than the, he said the mirror is worth more than the dresser piece. Yeah. Even though it was custom yeah. made of, he said, because he said, I said, how come? Mm-hmm. He said, because this, think about all of the people that's looked in there, all your family members, you mm-hmm. know, then all the children and all the old, you know, and, uh, he said, the memories, look, just think of all of the people that looked in there. So I'm thinking Twilight Zone. Yeah. <laughs> that old crap. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Now, the mirrors, now you said oh. there's like different colors. And now you're talking yeah. of the glass itself. The glass itself, you could have tinted a bronze or a gray, and then when you silver that, it's bronze or gray uh, mirror. Now, uh, back in the olden days, when you used beveling, uh, or when you all the edges were beveled and stuff like that, how they did that is they took glass and they hand held it over a big, huge um, a stone, and they ground it till it was smooth and did that all the way. And so there was a lot of talent involved in something like that by hand. Um, we have that equipment, uh, and it's still done by hand, but uh, a lot more help <laughs> yeah. uh, nowadays. But once you were done with that, then you, had, then you silvered the back of it. And then, then you would have your mirror. But nowadays, uh, you buy the the mirrors already already silvered because these main these big manufacturers that they do a great job, and uh, you, you basically don't have any of the imperfections or visible in, in imperfections. And uh, then you got the mirrors that you can run through uh, these machines, and they'll and the machines will bevel it. And I have a, a few of those as well, edgers, bevelers, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, what so, colors are the most popular now? What's uh, for right now? What's uh, is there any popular hotter ones well, than others? Yeah, because first of all, you're you're talking about the glass and the glass with the tinting, uh, having a bronze tint and or a gray tint. Those are the two. Uh, you know, you can use those on the exterior of buildings and stuff like that. But the manufacturers uh, that make that, uh, those are really. Uh, your your main two that you can get you, there's some greens out there and stuff like that but they really don't have any uh uh there's no call for it i should say hmm. and uh so it's yeah it's just the bronze and the gray and well you know black is 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 there too but we we paint our our glass as well so you can have what other whatever color you want uh let's say you wanted a mirror and you sandblast a trim on there and you paint that trim a a green and uh because you have accents of green throughout your bathroom and you want your mirror to reflect those uh that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. so you can paint whatever color you want and uh uh, backsplashes boy and kitchens and stuff like that really that's a great idea you know well and that's good with just regular clear mirror too because now you're you take that uh, mirror and you put it all the way down to your counter and the counter that goes into that just continues because it's mirror and so it almost makes everything really open up for you that's a grand idea. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you got samples there. I mean, uh, I've been in your showroom and, mm-hmm. of course, you know, and, uh, oh, I got to say something about your showroom. 
the people that work there are fabulous. Oh, they, they are they, just, I mean, it's so helpful. Yeah. And uh, they just make you feel, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, they make you feel comfortable. You yeah. Know? So yeah. just hats off to the uh, all well, the folks that work in there. Well, but uh, do, I guess you got samples of these kind of things. So we do. Can look uh, that's, it's in my showroom now. I don't have, I, and I have a TV in my showroom where I have literally pictures being flashed up of work that we have done so that you can uh, uh, see a lot of different things. But I do have a uh, a glass, but it's painted white, a uh, white uh, backsplash uh, in my showroom. And then uh, I sandblasted a brick display on a, a part of it so I can see. Now you can do this if you want, or you can do that if you want. So again, the showroom's built to give people ideas and and to let them know what can be done so that their imaginations can go and they can really get. The worst thing in the world is spending a lot of money on something and then seeing something that, oh, I didn't know. Right. And, uh, you know, walk walk out and uh, knowing that, okay, I know everything I can do and this is the direction I want to take and this this is what I want to do. That's the happy camper. Yeah. So the worst thing is, is to me, is that uh, you get something different and the wife says, hey, I didn't know. I don't like this now. Yeah. We've got to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess. Yeah. So, and that's awesome that you can help folks like that. What, uh, uh, what, at the end of the program, was, please give, make sure we give your address of the showroom. Absolutely. Now, I guess you guys are uh, open uh, for the COVID during this COVID time. Yes, so we are. Come yes, in we and, are. Yes, we are. Which is and, important. Uh, we uh, um, w- we made glass screens and stuff like that for customers and uh, our other businesses and stuff. So uh, w- we sort of got by on the uh, um, essential business mm-hmm. or whatever. Ah, and so, I mean, we when you make the screens to separate the uh, people, uh, I mean... They got them at bars now where you can get those screens now. Plexiglass, I think, is uh, the more popular, but uh, the nicer places have glass. I got a question, and uh, I should have said something to you before, but because you, but you mentioned uh, that protective growth. And so we got to – do you do bulletproof-type glass? Is that something that you – because I see – we're seeing more and more. We live in a crazy world, you know, yeah. where banks and different areas – and it's not just the COVID. It's more uh, uh, yeah. lead poisoning, you yeah. might say. Or, you know. right. Do you guys do much of that? I mean, we really don't. We uh, don't do a whole lot of it. And uh, – but – uh, I have avenues where if somebody came in and said, I really need this to be uh, uh, bulletproof or something like that, we can we can certainly help them out with that. And our fireplace inserts, you know, uh, tempered glass, you can get up to 1,300 degrees in temper. Uh, and, uh, you know, so fireplace glass really got to be able to take the heat. But then that's another product, again, that uh, we'll have to go after and, and uh, you know, call somebody else up because we, uh, we don't manufacture that by any means. No, I bet you don't. And actually, yeah. I, and that's good to know because I only know one other company that actually does that, and they're out of town. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so what I did is that one, because I have a, glass doors on my <clears throat> wood stove, and uh, which is just beautiful, folks. And and uh, I had to buy an extra glass because I was afraid if I broke one, I'd have no glass. Yeah. So I got one sitting. And you know, well, as soon as I did that, I never broke another one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but that's all right. I'd rather <laughs> have spent that extra uh, money. Yeah. And that's a pretty expensive piece of glass, too, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it, it is definitely more expensive than, than just your regular. Yeah, for sure. So we, we, we go back to the other type of mirrors before we wander into doors. And, and now I've, we're seeing more and more of this heated, uh, I guess it's heated glass that's uh, so as it don't fog up. Tell us a little bit how that works and, you know, what the heck is the... It's really cool. I think it's awesome. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I think it started off with a film put on there, uh, a clear shield, which is... Uh, um, 
we use it on our shower doors. It's sort of like making a uh, a regular pan of Teflon pans, so another super slick area. And uh, your shower door steam and stuff like that doesn't fog up in, in that area or whatever. So, uh, yeah. It's, so it's that's a of, film. Uh, it, it's a, a film or an, and or an application of a, uh, a product. And, and basically, you look at glass under a microscope, and it's not perfectly flat. It, you got your highs and your lows, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's just you know the way glass is under that concentration of looking, and this product comes in and fills all that, oh. and so therefore uh, glass that would norm uh, water that would drip across something. Um, uh, would do it a lot slower with the other. The other zip by, and next thing you know, it's clear, and uh, it just works better. That's a great. And well, I think it's, and I guess that's getting more and more popular. I'm seeing more and more of it. Yeah. But I, but when we do inspections, we don't inspect that. Right. Right. Because naturally, we're not sitting there running hot water and yeah. we're taking showers. Yeah. But I know, and I know, I love it. I know the wife loves it. So, mm-hmm. it, are you seeing more and more people jumping on board with this yet? Uh, yeah, I, I've had some people, uh, you know, ask for it and kind of stuff. I. The craziest thing I'm doing with mirrors is is you put a TV behind it, and you have to use a two way mirror, you know, like you would see in a you know on a movie or whatever mm-hmm. from one room to the next. And uh, 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 but you put a TV behind there, and when when the TV is turned off, you use. It's nothing but a mirror. You would never know there's a TV behind there. You flip on the TV, and all of a sudden, it just shines right through. And that's pretty crazy. And But... I'd love but to neat. see that. Yeah, yeah. Is it yeah, you got that down your showroom? I don't. I don't. Oh, shout out to yeah. I'm following uh, you yeah, back yeah. to the showroom. <laughs> I want to see that. I know how to do it though, and I have worked with uh, uh, contractors. Uh, they've, they've, you know, you got to put a hole behind to where you're going to put your mirror so that your TV can hang. Uh, everything needs to be black and dark around around the TV so that when the lights turn on, you're not illuminating anything else except for what's coming through on the TV. Uh, but I, so I have done several of these, uh, uh, but with, with contractors. Mm-hmm. So yeah. now I guess you do your own installs too of your glass. So if somebody brought you out there, you do, you do the installs too for Ab- your shower door, yeah. which we, I, yeah. I want to jump in on shower doors. Yeah. That's a, that that market has changed a lot yeah, since yeah, 1976. It, it has, but so is mirrors, my yeah, star. Yeah, because you was telling me before we got started about the etching. You have a company that also does. You have two glass companies, right? And uh, tell us about tell the folks about what because man, that was kind of pretty cool. What you were yeah, talking? Oh, yeah. great holiday gift idea for yeah, nothing else. Yeah, yeah. We uh, uh, actually put a whole bunch of these little four inch by six inch pieces with beveled edges and then sandblasted a little something, uh, keeping Christ in Christmas and, uh-huh. uh, and, uh, put them on a little tripods and we sold a lot of those, you know, so oh. it, it was sort of nice, like what you're saying for a gift idea. Mm-hmm. And it, they, they ended up being, you know, people that wanted to give out gifts and stuff like that. A lot of times that's where we sold a lot of them. But, Can uh, you do any kind of design? So if absolutely. I wanted my name or I want, I'm a deer camp and I uh, want deer, yeah, you know, or something. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're, you know, uh, if you come to us with camera ready artwork, uh, we can do it fairly reasonably for you. But a lot of people come with maybe a little hand drawing of something that they've wanted. And then that means we've got to go into the computer and we've got to try to reproduce that. And, and there's a little back and forth. No, I really want it to look more like this or I want it to end up like that. And, you know, I want I want the deer to be smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, Happy I don't deer. know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, but um, those kind of things. Nowadays, it's 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 artwork on the computer, uh-huh. and uh, and then you can turn around and do it all in the reverse, so that when you put it on a mirror, it flips back around. You're looking at the reverse of it, and therefore it's it's you know you see the name. I, we do 
that more often in bar areas, uh, uh, like uh, a home bar and uh, uh, the 19th hole and they'll have a golfer swinging and uh, well, golf courses are 18 holes. So the 19th hole is where you go and get your, uh, oh, uh, your, your, your went right your over drink. my head. Yeah. Now, okay. now, that, but, oh, uh, so that's the 19th. Yeah. So that's the 19th hole. And uh, so but that's just an example. There's uh, Christian Corners, uh, 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 we, a whole lot of Irish uh, pub stuff. Uh, yeah. And uh, you can put the person's name, you know, uh, Schmidt's Pub, and then put established uh, down in the corner and have a nice beveled mirror and stick it in there. And, you know, uh, we just basically almost do every, anything. I have a display of that in my showroom. Two beer mugs coming together and the, and the beer s- splashing out and, of course, a big Barron's over it and, and then established. Oh, Barron's Pub. I'm sitting here just, but, just, but you've probably seen my eyes wander. I'm thinking, you know, I, I could, if I get a snapshot, I'm just making sure I got it right. Bring it to you. Bring a picture. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'd like for my son's dog. Uh, you know, as a as a gift, you know, and or my other sons, his family all together. Okay. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be really cool. Okay. But you're you're getting into photography now, which is out there, and that's part of it. But that's that's it's different. That's more so than what I'm discussing. Okay, I'm, I'm discussing a line drawing. Or whatever. Okay. Everything's black and white because you've got the sandblasted gray and you got the mirror. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. it's it's like a a, a drawing on uh, the glass. Uh, I have painted before different colors on the sandblasting because that color comes through, but uh, that's that really gets into. But if we don't uh, want the color, we just want this the image. Absolutely, that'd be perfect, right? Oh, absolutely, and that's the way it was done in the olden days. So yeah. yeah. So now you said you did it from the back side, not the front side, right? So what you said about the reverse, I just wanted to make that clear to the folks, because uh, I know first thing some of these cleaning people are going to say, oh, that's going to be a pain in the rear right. to clean. Well, if you sandblast on the face, of course, then you have that the roughness of the sandblasting making the uh, the image or whatever. Uh, so uh, it, it is a little bit more difficult to clean for sure. But you get a double image. The, the mirror is a quarter of an inch thick. And so if the sandblasting is on the face of the glass and then the mirror image is a quarter of an inch behind it, you almost start to get double imaging. And mm-hmm. uh, so therefore, I rather take it and put it on the backside and sandblast off the silvering and everything's crisp and clean and it looks really nice that way. But then again, you got to do things in reverse. Because that's when that's how you're putting it on the glass. That's pretty or, awesome. Or mirror. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty I'm cool. going to have. To, I'm going to put that on yeah. my list. And that's and that is. Uh, I have that displayed in the showroom and uh, floating glass shelves. So that you know, in the olden days, you used to put up the standards and then put, plug in your brackets so you can hang your glass and uh, and you know you, you get to adjust it, which is nice. But uh, I can build the glass in to my mirror work. So that you don't see any hardware holding up the glass. It just looks like it floats. I love and that. then with the sandblasting on there and uh you can make a pretty cool looking bar. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Well I know we've really taken a lot of time on mirrors. It's just in the glass there's just so many neat things out there. <laughs> But, uh, and, uh, I don't want to jump too fast again, yeah, but, no but I also don't want to miss out on the shower doors because yeah. that is a new world since 1976. And yeah. I, I oh, see yeah. all kinds of, well, uh, uh, jump in here and help us out or direct us and what's popular, what's not, what used to be. I mean, or do you still, you like, for instance, no. do you ever use polished brass, uh, you know, uh, anymore for our... Enclosure. I actually have a display of it in my showroom no just care. for those people that are old school. Yeah. But uh, uh, don't sell a lot of it. No, no. Uh, the uh, shower doors have just become a whole lot uh, uh, more popular now. And uh, um, back in the old days, everything was framed. You know, you'd have your eighth inch of glass. But in order for that eighth inch glass to ha- have stability, you'd have to have a frame all the way around it. And so everything had framework. And uh, and then that's what would get old and corrode it. And, you know, uh, oh, you know, 10 years time, you're thinking, oh boy, you know, this isn't so nice. 
they also used to only go six foot tall. You know, that's that's all the taller the shower door was way back when. But nowadays they're making them taller, and uh, they <clears throat> they've elevated to a semi frameless, which uh, is more popular now. I very rarely sell a fully framed one, but what it is, it has some hardware all the way around supporting uh, in more of a quarter inch glass, which is a less expensive. It's because it's not as thick and. Uh, that is 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 nice. I mean, you can get some of those where the, you open the door and then all you have is the hinge that's holding the glass, and that that looks pretty good. But it shuts into hardware as well, and uh, so it's uh, not nearly as popular popular as the heavy glass. And uh, the heavy glass is three eighths of an inch thick, and that by itself. It has all the strength and structure that a glass panel or a door would need to the point that it doesn't need all that hardware there to hold it in place or to do whatever it is. So you can put clamps or U-channel around uh, areas and fit that glass in and across the whole top have no hardware whatsoever, have, have a door that only has two hinges and a handle. And the, everything else is glass. And all that scenario just makes for a drop-dead gorgeous uh, shower door. And you can take it up seven foot if you want. You know, yeah. I, I mean, we've gone even taller than that. You can do double doors. You can. Uh, there's so many things you can do. Um, if you're not going to hinge off of a wall, uh, you can go pivot hinges and you can put a header in and still have everything else be frameless. And so your your pivot hinges are top and bottom hinges instead of wall mount hinges. And uh, so that kind of stuff happens. And uh, we've put our vanity strips in there too for people using sandblasting. So just uh, um, uh, that kind of stuff can happen. Um, you you had mentioned earlier, but uh, uh, that when you heat up the glass, uh, they literally put them in kilns, and it's uh, and the glass will melt down into the pattern, and so that when you pull it back out, you have patterned glass that is uh, really specialized and stuff, and and we get several displays of that. That's some pretty. That that's sounds some pretty awesome. That, that's pretty gorgeous stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, something that we're encountering out there, and it's more of the cheaper glass doors. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know that it happens in the expensive ones or not, but we're actually having a lot of our doors breaking. The glass is just shattering. Yeah. For no, what's what's going on there? Well, you know what? Besides being we've, we've had some, we've, deep, oh, well, I, didn't <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, no. Um, and quite honestly, I you, you can't blame, you know, the Home Depot or whatever, because uh, glass is uh, has to be tempered in order to be in your shower door. That's what makes it safety glass. Okay. Explain, folks, what temp. I know what okay. tempered is. You do, but okay. a lot of our folks might not. Right. Okay. Uh, so what it is is it's a process that you put uh, glass. And first of all, I, I'd like to say that. Your glass has to be completely fabricated, it has to be the size you want it, the edge work you want it, all this kind of stuff, 100%. Then you run it through a tempering oven, okay? The oven heats it up to, let's say, uh, if I'm off by 100 degrees, don't, yeah. don't, don't shoot me, but about 1,300 degrees or so. And, uh, and then it's a fast dry uh, or fast cool. Uh, as soon as it rolls out of the oven, they, they bring it back to normal temperature right away. And that makes the, the glass sort of a one piece now versus like with annealed glass is non-tempered glass. You could break an edge off of that or a corner off of that and maybe refix it. If you broke that same corner off a tempered piece, the whole piece explodes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's sort of all together now. Uh, and 
but that's what makes that's the uh, the process of tempering is that you, it keeps everything uh, to the point that if you're in there and you're all natural and something explodes on you, you know, it'll scare you to death instead of cut you to death. <laughs> yeah. But you don't want a big old piece of glass falling down. Oh, no, and, you could uh, get killed. Yeah, exactly. So and it's that's probably what code it, anyway, isn't it? It, it is very mm-hmm. much code, very much code. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, uh, but now with a different, thicker glass, is this more apt not to happen, or is it the quality of the tempering you know, that's that, giving us the problem? That's a good question because we have literally had our tempering people um, uh, uh, deliver our glass, and it's been leaning up against the wall, and pow, it just goes, and there's there's no handling of it. There was no, um, you know doing something that shouldn't be done, it just explodes. And um, that happens, and it, it's, not a, uh, it's not a company and a problem that, you know, hey, we did something wrong or we sold an inferior product. It's just every now and then. And I will say that probably on average for the last 20 or 30 years, I might have hit, uh, one, one a year that have done that. So it's not, it's not big. And of course we do like four shower doors, six shower doors a day and, uh, all kinds of stuff. So we, we're really set up to do, a, have a lot of tempered glass come in and go out. But, uh, one, every now and then, uh, had a, had a lady that, uh, had them in her, um, bath in it was a bypass shower door and uh, you know, it makes you wonder a little bit but whatever uh, um, probably for four years and she goes that and she said it, and in the night it just exploded on her mm-hmm. so so it's uh, nothing that, that we're doing as, as, as homeowners right. Uh, that's causing it. It's not anything we're putting on it. It sound, don't sound like it. Don't sound like it's, no. it's, it doesn't sound like it's the installer's fault necessarily. It, it, it's not. It's I mean, not if it's not broke right away, it's not something that the right. installer did wrong. Well, Cause I get that. I can hear that too. What did yeah. they do wrong? Well, I, yeah. I don't know. Well, and you know, and sliders, you know, somebody, and especially you get a kid and they go mm-hmm. slamming that thing open. I can see them busting, you know, if, mm-hmm. if you're not careful with them. But, uh, I, you know, I don't have any reason to to not believe this lady. She said in the middle of the night, it just exploded. And well, I'm like, well, okay. And I've heard that too. Yeah. You know, I mean, I did, and I've been called out for these jobs and I, mm-hmm. I don't know. And I'm, I've never, you know, you're the first glass guy I've talked to. Yeah. But I, what research I did, I can't find out why, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's not that there's a hairline scratch in it that we don't see. Because, you know, that's the first thing we think of. Right. Is that it's like my mirror on, or my window on my car, which is also tempered and i get that little pinhole you know yeah and all of a sudden it starts growing yeah Yeah, but that's not we don't have that with that that's a different animal it is it is now you now i know you're doing talking about tempered glass and i'm kind of switching gears on you but do you do window glass? I don't do windows and I don't do auto. Okay. And it's I just, just wanted to because clarify quite, what the quite honestly, are. I'm inside the home. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I've done things crazy like uh, I had half inch thick glass that just came up out of the ground around a pool. Oh. And it was just drop dead awesome. I like that so. It looked beautiful. Uh, and, you know, you got to see the pool. You didn't have chain link or some kind of mm-hmm. uh, fencing uh, hiding your view. It just came up. I didn't have to have a, a top cap on it because there was no uh, drop off. I think you have to have, uh, the code says that you have to have do certain things if there's so many uh, inches of a drop off. So if the piece of glass breaks and somebody falls, you can't fall far to hurt yourself. Right. But well, whatever. On the for now, this is the devil that we all talk about, and we have and, and housewives and, and cleaning ladies and folks and, and and husbands that actually help out with the cleaning. 
is the soap stains, water stains, and stuff inside of our shower. Right. And so, you know, that that's been a that's been a pain for mm -hmm. all for years. Right. But you was telling me earlier about some secrets. Tell yeah. tell the folks what you have out there that can eliminate this right. pain. Well, the the the, uh, the main thing is people that live in hard water areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, that hard water can really stain. So it's not necessarily this person's not clinging or anything like that. It's just hard water can really be hard on glass. And uh, there's a, a product that we use in the, uh, in the uh, glazing industry at one product of the year uh, when it first came out. And uh, I think I alluded to it a little bit earlier, but it's a product that you put on the inside of, we put them on the inside of uh, shower doors. Okay. And, um, uh, you, you, there's a process of putting it on so that, uh, you know, it, it does this job. Um, and it, 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 when it first came out, lifetime warranty, you know, it, it's, it's going to stay on there forever. But, uh, I was told that the, uh, 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 the cruise ships with their little portholes, uh, uh, uh ruined that far. Oh, so, uh, oh. but that salt wall there yeah. just con constantly hit them. They couldn't get that any longer. So, but there's an eight year and quite honestly, with the way we use our shower doors, using a shower door, uh, twice, maybe three times a day, uh, there, there's pretty much lifetime on there. So you're not going to wear that off. And, uh, yeah, it's like making a regular pan, a Teflon pan. Okay. So a regular pan, you put the egg in there and you can turn it upside and it's still staying there. Teflon pan, you turn it on its side and it goes flying off. Well, that's the same. That's the theory behind this, this product that you're putting on your shower doors. So it's a great product. It's an add on. We, we, uh, uh, we sell it separate. So you can so, retrofit this. Yes. Ah, so, so if I have, I want to put it on mine now, does it have to have any kind of special type of glass or to an order for this to work or just any of my shower mm. door? I got, so if I go get me one of these, um, big box store shower doors. Right. And I, can you put that on that? Yes, I can. I can put it on, uh, a shower door that's, um, 10 years old. Now, the, the problem is, and this is what we tell people. You clean those shower doors as clean as you can get them. And then when we come in, we're going to clean them too. But if there's anything left on that shower door, when I put this product on there, you, you're sealing it in. Mm. So, I mean, you're, there is, there is no, everything's going to be perfect again. No forgiveness. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if there was a, a, a little, a uh, smudge of some dirt that uh, they didn't clean and I didn't clean or whatever, but it's been clear shielded now. Well, there's no taking it off. And that's on retrofit only? Yeah. So if I'm buying brand new from you, I If buying not brand new from us, well, we're, we're starting with a clean slate there and we're already, we're, we're stripping it all down and then putting this product on there and then everything's great then. That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, help me out as we're wrapping, we're wrapping this up here a little bit. Tell me whatever, what's hot out there on the shower doors and, and uh, that you're seeing more and more, uh, that, uh, that people are wanting more than, than the old standard. Well, um, uh, the clean top, in other words, no hardware, mm -hmm. uh, the least amount of hardware that you see in a shower door is what people want mm -hmm. and clean quite, up. and quite honestly to not have a whole lot of hardware and 20 years from now, you take good care of that hardware you got. It looks like you put it in a year ago. So in others, I mean, you a 20 year old shower the way they used to do it oh my gosh like get rid of this thing it's 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 horrible but uh nowadays they're they're gonna last longer for you and still look very very nice so walk us real quick through i want i i'm building a home or i'm retrofitting my bathroom yeah and my wife has told me we're getting a new enclosure mm -hmm. where do we when do we call you and the process that we go through to get uh, to question. the end of good the job. Good question, yeah. Because what we normally, when people call us up and say, "Hey, we want somebody to come out and measure for a shower door," you know, we ask, uh, "Is your are you getting new tile? And if you are, is it in?" You know, because everything we do with these doors now, and and again, in the olden days when you had the frames, you had slop. 
You know, in mm-hmm. other words, you you could have that piece of glass all the way in the frame or halfway out of the frame, and you don't know it. And so you can you could fit to out of squares in your uh, in your shower door area. Nowadays, you got to fit that area. You got to know everything that's out of square because the glass is then cut out of square to fit your area. And so that when then when we uh, temper it and do it all, everything fits like a charm. And uh, and that that's the uh, that's the problem with the one size fits all uh, places that uh, I can go buy some shower doors for for less. Well, if you're if your opening is not square it's going to show that it's not square. Whereas with us, we cut it out of square and you never know that that piece of glass is an eighth inch wider or a quarter of an inch wider at the top than it is at the bottom because it fits that wall perfect. So that's exactly why, folks, you get a hold of a company like Baron Mirror Glass and Door. You don't call your handyman. You don't call your general Mm -hmm. contractor. You go straight to the professional because if not... God only knows what you'll get. And I have seen some pretty sloppy stuff out there. Yeah. And uh, so that's why I thought it was great to have somebody like your company come on here. And you've been around, well, I'm, I'm not going to say forever because we're about the same age, but, uh, but, but 45, forever. I've been in business 45 years and 45, I'm proud of it. Yeah. At, at one time, we had mentioned my employees. And when you said you came in and you got a, a, a good dose of uh, good good input from them uh, and I started off uh, saying that, well, you know, I I wasn't treated real well when I was in another company, and so I started my own. And so I think I'm a little sensitive to that. But at one time, I had seven employees that were with me for over 20 years. Wow. That says uh, a lot about the quality of the environment. And the better the quality, in my opinion, mm-hmm. the better the quality of the work environment, the higher quality of the product installed into customers' yeah. homes. Two of my salesmen at Baron Mayer have been with me for 37 years. And so these, I go to these guys and ask them questions. Now, wait a minute, well, you know, what, what's what's up with this or whatever? Mm-hmm. Ted Hartling at the desk is is awesome. He's, yeah, he he's, is. Uh, he's got a all kinds of knowledge. Uh, Robbie Durkers, who is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, uh, th- this guy, he, he knows it all. And, and uh, he goes out there and meets with the people and, and gets all those exact measurements and stuff. Uh, I do that as well, but, you know, we, we've got three people that do that. But uh, Robbie's, Robbie's phenomenal. So there's the hint, folks. Yeah. Call Rob when you call Tom. Yeah. Yeah, they have yeah. Robbie. Yeah. We want Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tom's not. Tom's not available. Go Robbie. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there's people. No, I don't want Tom. I, I, give me Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. You I know what? That. And and you know what? I I take that as a compliment. That is I'm, a compliment because that I'm reflects fine. upon you. Yeah. He, 38 years with me and so we do a lot of things the same way. He's uh he's a good man. But uh so uh and of course I, I just highlighted those two cuz they've been with me the longest. I got a great group of installers too. Well, all so, I ever hear is great things. You know, no, thank that, you. that's I mean and from every and you know the ones that are the and they're, the, it's our consumers that yeah. tell us that they're the ones that and so they got great you got great yeah. reviews out there uh so you, you're doing something right and i uh, really appreciate you. you coming on the show with us today i'd love to have you come back on again because there's just i know there's a lot of things we just did not hit on today yeah, yeah. uh but and but that's i know that uh, it's a and, and probably next time there'll be even newer and cooler things out there <laughs> than there was i mean things are happening so fast but tell p- tell the folks how they can find you uh, your address, phone number, web page, you know, just uh, and to right. help them out so they can know where your showroom's at. And, and, and uh, they already got Robbie's name written down. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are in the uh, heart of uh, Chesterfield Valley uh, on Long Road, 125, uh, right off of Long Road, uh, 125 Chesterfield Industrial Boulevard. And so that's the address. And uh, uh, large... Baron Mirror Glass and Door sign on the building and everything, so uh, hard to uh, to miss. But uh, web web page is uh fairly simple. And uh, uh, phone number six three six two three zero six three hundred. 
Say that one more time, please. I'm trying to write it down here for, for, some, for a referral. 636-230-6300. That's awesome. Well, now, we promised the folks, and I'll tell uh, that you got something special, that they, if they call and yeah. say, I heard you on about the house. There you go. Give okay. them what, tell them what, the, what, what well, you can do. Well, I, 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 I appreciate you having me on, and uh, I enjoyed myself. Uh, I thank you for this, uh, and I would love to uh, to share a special. Uh, uh, we talked about Clear Shield earlier and what it does for shower doors and uh, extends the life, makes it easier to clean, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it is in the neighborhood, depending on the size of the shower, between $125 to $150 uh extra and uh we will do that uh free uh, well folks you as, can't pass that up as uh just a little bonus and uh thank you yeah well so. that's it's cake pat folks that that's uh, you will just love that so you've got to take advantage of that and give tom uh, baron as in red baron mirror <laughs> glass and door i got and, two r's though he's only got one oh good there you, go. you said that <laughs> i didn't know yeah. uh, but and then for us at uh, galloway building services if you call and you say hey uh, we were look we listened to you on the radio we what kind what what kind of special you got we're offering right now for the first 10 people of the call, we're offering 50% off of all our infrared testing. And so that will save you a ton of money. We're going into the wet season now. Water's coming into our windows and behind the walls. We don't need mold. We don't need problems. Uh, now, I want to make one disclaimer for both of our specials because this show goes around the whole United States. Uh, we got people from, all, from Florida to California to listen family <laughs> and i hope more than just that but nevertheless it's only for the folks in the st louis regional area is that right it, tom it's for people buying shower doors now i'm, I'm not going to go out to somebody's house and do uh, a clear shield on on uh, something that's pre-existing if you're buying a shower door from us we're going to throw that in as a as a freebie there you go all right so folks Give him a call. Tom, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming. Thank you and very much. Thank you, Joey, for bearing with us. This is a wild standing young man. He don't even pay for this free advertising. It's because he's a, such, he's a great producer, and I've worked with Joey now for the last few years. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time, and thank everybody for listening to our show about the house. Have a great day. Sponsored by Troy Galloway and Galloway Building Services. Your top choice for professional home inspections in the St. Louis area. GallowayBuildingServices.com.